Welcome back to I know 18 Android for another perfect stamp and layout video. And today this is really a very special one. We have already covered almost all of the production in the old world for our people, as well as construction materials like concrete or steam motors. We've covered it all. So don't hesitate to check in the video description below if you want to see the full series. So today we'll talk actually about population city layouts. And I have many for you. I'm going to show you some that are great for beauty builders, some that are great for optimizers, min maxers, and some that are great for just the casual player out there. We're going to talk about layouts that are really great for a specific tier, like farmers, for example, but also some layouts that are great to get you from farmers to investors. You know, you can keep the same from beginning to end. Before we dive in, don't hesitate to check in the video description below again for the full series but also for the link to my Discord community where you can find all of those layouts for free. And lastly, if you want to participate, if you want to support the channel, there is also the first link is the link to my Patreon page where you can join a selective community with great bonuses. So let's dive right in with the basic 10 by 10. This is a very well-known layout that you may have heard about before. This is not a layout where in one 10 by 10 I have all of my buildings, this is more a very versatile layout. So obviously I can put as many as I want, you know, in different configurations such as this. But more importantly, with 10 by 10, you can easily fit in a 10 by 10 any of the building that you need. So for example, let's say that I've put a couple of 10 by 10 like this, then I'm gonna want to add a couple of services. So for example, I can delete a few houses over here and then put a marketplace. Then I can delete a couple more houses um, like this and I can put a pub. Then we want a few fire station. Okay, no problem. You delete a couple of houses or you delete a couple of roads and you can fit it. Pretty much any building in the game can fit inside one of those 10 by 10. And in particular, a lot of the beauty builders like this layout because inside the 10 by 10, you can then start doing many different things. Instead of always having the same like this, first of all, you can rotate it to make it look different, but you can also, you know, add a couple of trees here and there. You can add an ornament in the middle, those type of things. You can create multiple of these and then put them next to each other and create a more kind of natural looking city. Similarly, if you want, you can create, you know, 10 by 10 that already have some uh, services like something like this. And then what you do is you mix and match different of those layouts together to create your city. So I know this is not a perfect layout that has all of the buildings in a perfectly optimized way, etc. But I did want to start there because I think the 10 by 10 is really useful and you may love it. But now that we got this out of the way, let's focus on a couple of layouts that are a bit more optimized. The first one over here is a rectangle where in the middle I have all of the services needed from farmers to getting me to engineers. It doesn't have electricity, so you won't get to investors, but you can get to engineers with all of this. So you could start with having only farmers, you could have only workers, only artisan, or you could have a mix of all three like this, and they would still get all of their services. We have the marketplace and the pub over here. Then for the workers, we move into the church and the school. And then lastly, for the artisans, we have the variety theater and the university. On top of this, you have a police station and two fire station which should be enough for this size of population. This is not perfectly optimized in terms of space because you have trees, for example, over here, you also have some roads, but this will work and it's also very easy to replicate, right? You can add a few more on each side and then you have a big city. And again, what I really like about this layout is with this, I can have a mix of population. You know, I can have a bit of everything and I'll be good. I won't have a problem that I'm missing some services or have too many services. Last but not least, we do have also the hospital over here. And with the green roads, you know, you can see that we have a really great coverage. So I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below if you think this is useful, if you like it, if you maybe seen it before or used it before, because I do like it a lot. So that was to get us to engineers, but it wasn't working for investors. We didn't have the electricity, for example. Also, there was no town hall, by the way. Instead, if you really want a lot of investors or a lot of engineers, and you want town halls, I'm going to show you a bit more of an optimized one where we have almost 500 residences of investors and this is all in one rectangle. Basically, once again, we have sort of the services in the middle. We have the bank in the middle, we have the university, we have the member club and we have two variety theaters. And again, with the roads, you can see there's a really great coverage of these services. Then we have four of those town halls, one in each you know, those corners, 
and every single house is inside the radius of those town hall. There is not a single house that is not in the coverage. So if you start putting items into them, they will impact all of your houses. Then we have the public services on the side. For example, over here, you know, we have two hospitals this side and two hospitals that side. Similarly, you know, the police station over here, police station in the corners are oh, here. This one didn't uh, come just because of the clay deposits, but in the layout you have it. Then you have the fire station, you know, again, pretty much everywhere. So the coverage is really great. The coverage for this is actually a bit lower in the middle over here, but that's fine because this is where we don't have houses. What's important is to have high coverage where we have houses. And then you need to bring electricity, right? You have two main ways to do it apart from items. The first one is the oil that you can see on this side and on the other side is the gas. So in case of the gas, you can do something like this with a warehouse next to it. While in this case over here, you don't need a warehouse, but you do need a railway. So that's what I've made over there. Now, basically, if you want to use this layout, you're going to have two ways because your houses are not going to get to engineers or investors right away. You will have to put first farmers, right? So what you can do is either you delete those services in the middle and you put first, you know, market and then the school and those type of things up until when you get to this level. Or what you can do is also put those services outside, like in each of those corners. You put, for example, one marketplace there, another there, another there. You, know, you could put a couple on the outside. It should be able to reach most of these. If they don't, you can also move houses here and there. But basically, yeah, you need to get to engineers and then maybe also investors, depending on what you want. And with this layout, you can definitely do it. So again, I'd love to hear your thoughts because it did take me quite a bit of time to make it work. But I think it's a really great one. But that's not all. I have a few other that are really interesting. The next one is a modular base that is a bit like the 10 by 10, but slightly different. And also with this one, you already have the railways integrated. So basically, as I said, it's a bit of a modular one. So instead of just putting one, you know, you put a couple, for example, like this, as many uh, as you want, you feel like you need, you, know, you add them, uh, such you add them like this, and you can have a city as big as you want. And as I said, a really good thing is we already have the space for the railway and therefore to get into oil power plants if you want engineers and investors. But if you don't, that's also fine. You know, you can of course obviously delete uh, these oil power plants and put more houses. But as I said, it's a bit like the 10 by 10 where you also then need to put, you know, your market and other services where again, you will just delete a couple of these houses to put your market and other services wherever you feel like you need them. And you can use, you know, the delivery lines or green it is on your roads to see, okay, I'm delivering really well on this side. I probably need another one somewhere over here to have a 100% delivery, but it's pretty good, right? And you do the same for the other services as much and as many as you want. So this one is really easy to put in place, really easy to upgrade along the way. If you have a building that is a bit too big, where well, it's fine, you know what you do, you can do something like this. You delete a couple more of these houses. You can delete this road in the middle. For example, I think the bank is one of the biggest one. You know, we can put it like this and then you can still put rods around. You can then have a couple of trees and things like this. So it is a really easy modular way that already has the railway. That's, I think, for me, the big thing. And it also has a very good road system so that you don't have too many roads, but you already have quite a bit. So putting a bank over here, you can see that I have perfect delivery pretty much to all corners of this map already. So another one that is super powerful, in my opinion. Now, the next one is a bit different. This is more for your early game. It is just a perfect farmer layout. It has nothing else. It's just farmers, you know. It has all of the services that you need. It has the marketplace, the pub, two fire stations, and even a police station in case, you know, you have unlocked this. Again, as you can see, we have perfect coverage over here. Now, you may be wondering why I've put a second street around. It is in case you want to prepare for the future in terms of having space for a railway line. This way, you're not going to forget that you need to leave one space like this. And then you can put another of these farmers next to it, something like this, for example. And then you're good. You have perfect coverage over there, perfect coverage over here. And each of those blocks, we're talking about 130 houses, which could lead you to more than 3000 farmers. So it's definitely a lot. You know, if you start with this, this is already a good start. And then we can do the same for workers. It is slightly different, but also the way I build it is to make it easy if you want to upgrade from this to that, because you can see it is exactly the same size, the same layout, 
with all of the services in the middle except the two fire station over here. So if you do want to upgrade, basically the only thing you'll have to do is to delete these houses over here to make space for more services because now we also need space for the church and for the school. And on top of this, I put actually two police stations instead of one now. So we have a few less houses, now it's 116, but given that you can put more workers, we're actually talking about more than 5,000 workers if you use lifestyle needs and things like this. So it's definitely a great one. And last but not least for today, I have a perfect town hall coverage. This is 116 houses in a town hall. You know, this is as far as I know, as far as I've been able to do. So don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below if you've been able to do better. The maximum number of residences that you can put inside one town hall. With perfect coverage, as you can see, we also have some roads that are pretty good. But of course, in this case, you need to start putting the services more on the outside. So it is, ladies and gentlemen, a number of perfect layouts and stamps for all of your old world population. But don't worry, we're not done. I still have a lot of surprises for you in the next few episodes, including, of course, we need to look at the other regions like the New World. I hope you're excited. Don't hesitate to smash like button. Tell me in the comments below any questions, thoughts or requests for future videos. And I hope to see you next time.